Period four. Activity one. Beat. Chart. Gentle. Heart. Injury. Out of breath. Rate. Sensible. Warm up. Word formation. Act. Active. Activity. Healthy. Health. Period four. Activities two and three. One. A. Why do you use so many charts in your teaching? B. Well, they're often easier to understand than words, so it's just a sensible thing to do. Two. A. Can you explain the beat that you feel? When you check your pulse, B. Yes, you see, your heart produces that. Three, A. Do you get out of breath quickly when you run? B. Yes, I do, and my heart rate rises. Four, A. I want to become more active. Perhaps I should start a new sport. B. Well, you can go to the sports center. They have various activities that you can choose from. Good idea, and I'm sure it'll be good for my health if I can get fitter. Five, A. When you go training, always warm up carefully first. B. I know. I always start with some gentle exercises. That's good because it helps to stop sports injuries. Period four, activity four. Now, Doctor Blake, there are some older people who worry that young people today are not fit enough and not healthy enough. They say their lives are too soft and too easy. They think that they watch too much TV and they don't get enough exercise. What do you think? Well, some young people may be like that. But I don't think most young people are, and every year young sports people do better than ever before. Ah yes, but not everyone can be a top sports person. 
How much exercise should a normal young person do? You don't need to do hours of hard training every day to be healthy. About half an hour of exercise is enough. But you need to do something active enough to raise your heart rate, to make your heart beat faster, and to get a little out of breath. So, what activities can you do, for example? You can walk fast to and from school every day, or you can help at home and do some active housework, like cleaning the windows. That isn't really enough to get fit, is it? You can do more than that, of course. But yes, that's enough to feel fitter and healthier, to stay thin and not to put on weight if you don't eat too much. You'll live longer, too. Good. So, let's talk about sports and sports injuries. How can people do sports and not hurt themselves? Some sports are more dangerous than others. But with all sports, you have to be sensible. You need to warm up with some gentle exercises. Don't push yourself too hard or too soon. And wear the right things. Good quality shoes, for example. Finally, don't go on for too long. When you're tired, stop.